Yeah, seriously. <laughs> you trying to stay with one stripe blue belt? <laughs> <laughs> so, Professor Upiano was talking about uh, changing my eating habits um, for this next 90 days and, and for life, you know. Um, I know that every time we go and eat, you're constantly talking about the different things that we eat that are bad. So I wanted to get your opinion on what types of things I should be looking for and looking out for. You know, I hear tortillas are bad, you know, uh, for some reason. So kind of give me your opinion on what I need to do over this next 90 days to, to get the weight off, to be a, but to have enough energy to train. Like I've done the juicing before, ran out of energy 30 minutes in, not enough to do anything. I'm trying to get healthy enough so that I can beat you. Well, the first problem with the statement is you'll never beat me, no matter how healthy you get. But we can go from there. So you're going to see a lot of articles. People are going to tell you this all the time. Uh, if you want to lose weight, cut the carbs out. Which, there is some fact in that. If people who want to lose weight quick, cut all carbs out, high protein, high fat diet, you're going to get skinny. There's no doubt about that. The only problem is you're trying to do this in a healthy way, an athletic way, where you want to continue the martial arts, where you want to continue the jiu-jitsu, where you're trying to excel as an athlete. So it's going to take a little bit longer, but at the end result, you're going to feel better. Uh, so you're going to want to keep your carbs. You want to keep whole grain carbs, uh, especially on a day you know you're going to work out a lot. You're going to look for your whole grains. Uh, and don't just look for the on food labels. Don't just look when it says whole grain because you don't know exactly what percentage of that is whole grain. It could be 10% whole grain, 90% white bread. Uh, so when you buy something, you really want it to say 100% whole grain. That way you know the entire product is whole grain. Uh, the main difference between whole grain and white bread, white grains, is it's going to last in your system a lot longer. They're going to slowly dissolve. It's going to give you energy throughout the entire day. Uh, whereas the white grain, you're going to burn that quicker, and if you don't use that energy, it's going to get stored and be used into fat. Uh, your next important source is protein. If you're going to be working on jiu-jitsu a lot, you're going to be using up a lot of energy, especially the Muay Thai, you're going to be using a lot of, it's high calorie, you're always moving. Uh, also with the mixed martial arts, when you combine them both, you're going to use up a lot of muscle, a lot of energy, so you're going to want your clean source of protein. Uh, most of it's going to come from protein shakes. I mean, right after your workout, it's the most convenient thing. Just quickly scoop in 20, 25 grams. Uh, usually the rule of thumb is about one gram of protein per pound of body fat that you have, uh, or lean muscle mass that you have, not body fat. Um, and you want to consume that each day. So you're going to need a lot of protein if you want to recover so you can be fresh the next day. So if you want to continue training. Uh, and you need to have your day planned out. I mean, don't just wake up try to figure out what you want for breakfast because that, that takes too much time. You should already know throughout the entire week what you're going to have for breakfast. Uh, that's going to cut a lot of time off. You'll be able just to get up, make your breakfast, get ready for the day and get ready to train. And you also can't just go to train not knowing where your meal after training is. That point, that, that point after training is going to be very critical. Uh, you've just depleted all your glycogen stores. You've used up a lot of protein, you're tired, you don't want to drive around Houston in this traffic hungry and not having anything to eat. You want to quickly replenish, uh, which is a lot of time why people rely on protein shakes. You quickly make it, you drink it, and then that gives you some time to go figure out what you want to eat. What do you suggest like in the morning? Like, you know, my typical breakfast in the morning would be like, you know, ham, eggs, potatoes, beans, you know, maybe tacos, uh, tortillas and stuff what of that can I eat in the morning because I really like the ham and eggs and I really like the beans if you really like the potatoes <laughs> but if your morning's gonna be a little bit lackluster you're gonna want to keep the carbs out uh, you don't want to load up on a bunch of carbs if you're not gonna do anything throughout the day if you're just gonna sit at home edit pictures and do something that's not that energy burning so you're gonna you can keep the eggs cut out the egg yolk or maybe just keep one egg yolk uh, you're gonna try to look for some leaner hams uh, try to replace like for like white turkey bacon or maybe a little bit of cottage cheese a little bit of greens but you don't want to be eating whole grains uh, or you don't want to be eating too many grains if you're not going to be training if you're going to be a very slow day for you uh, but on the other hand if you know you're going to have breakfast you're going to come out and train you're going to go to the gym you're going to want something with a little bit more grains uh, oatmeal is a great source of grains uh, the calorie content of that's 
very high, but it's good for energy. I mean, it's, uh, it's also our bananas. They say one banana is going to give you enough energy for an hour of workout. Uh, a little, you're gonna need a little bit more if it's going to be an intense workout also. Uh, also, you probably want to have a quick whey protein shake first thing in the morning too. It's your body was just fasted for seven, eight hours that you slept. So you want something to hit you quick. Uh, whey protein works perfect for that as well. So what, as far as, you know, um, I, g I get up in the morning, I'm going to go, I'm going to eat something, you know, oatmeal, get going, go to the gym, go work out and stuff, um, you know, hit the protein shakes. What about at nighttime? You know, at nighttime, I'm not going to be, you know, working out anymore, but will my body still, will it still be burning, you know, even though I've, I've already worked out will it still be burning a little if bit if you had a uh, intense workout like you usually do in mixed martial arts training your body will be in an increased metabolic rate for the next 24 hours so it's not going to be that much of an issue the hard part about the nighttime uh eating at night it's a myth i mean you're not going to get fat if you eat chicken at night the problem is people tend to overeat at night they have a little slice of chicken breast and they're just sitting there watching TV. They're going to crave a little bit more and they're going to crave a little bit more. So eating at night, there's nothing wrong with that. It's that people tend to overeat at night. You're sitting at home, you're just laying down, you have access to your fridge, you have access to everything. Where usually throughout the day, you don't have those temptations because you're running around, you're running errands, you're just not at home. But anything, uh, you something like a white chicken breast, white fish, uh, anything that's not too carb heavy is perfect. That way you still get your proteins. Uh, green vegetables are perfect also. Um, you can have a little bit of carbs, just nothing too high because you know you're about to go to sleep, but you still need your carbs to get you ready for the next day uh, and to help you recover from your hard workout throughout the day. My wife does the uh, cardio kickboxing and after she d gets home, she always does that protein shake. Is that good to because I'm not gonna be using the protein any more after that am I so would I would I necessarily use have a protein shake at night yeah uh, the protein shake there's two different types of protein one is called whey protein and one is called casein uh, those are the two major ones I mean there's a lot of different proteins but those are the two major ones whey protein is gonna hit your body quicker so it's good for those times where you're just depleted after workout you're depleted first thing in the morning you're depleted but at night you're going to want to use something like casein protein because you know you're not about to eat for the next eight hours. You're going to be asleep. So this way the protein is going to be a little bit slower absorbing. That way it slowly feeds in through your muscles throughout the night. That way you're not completely, completely depleting your body of energy. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can do this. I can do this. You have to do this. So that way you can stop using your athleticism for the reason you can't beat me. I can. I'll beat you. Yeah, it's not a problem. Our zoo's here, you can't film no more. <laughs>